I would suggest if you find games like this, though, make sure they got the manuals and stuff and in where's them. Where's that this? Uh-oh. We better make sure that they... Whoa! <laughs> they don't have any of them in there? He said he was gonna get the Oh, answer. no, they have no games. We don't only have one, not two, but three boxes of trade in We're taking all this stuff in here to the first video game store of the day, and we're gonna try to move as much of it as possible in trade value. The stuff here is stuff that I can't personally move myself without it being very tedious and for a little bit of price, but these game stores can move it, and they'll give me a little bit of money for it. So today we're gonna go through and hand all this stuff off to them, see how much they'll take, whatever they don't take, well, we're just going to take it to the next door and see if they'll give us anything for it. And whatever that doesn't happen, they'll probably just honestly go in the garbage. So we're going to take all this stuff in here and see what we can get out of this. I, I, I have to a 350 take out <laughs> I, mean, I don't. Could it break down? Uh, you might be able to break it down a little. Yeah. Dude, that is wicked. Us. This guy is a little, little. That is so awesome. Yeah. Well, we found what to put on that wall. <laughs> and I have to space. You don't put this. Yeah, I'm about to say you don't. It's a stand. So. I know, but that's what I'm saying. No, I get it. We we'll figure out where to put it. Yeah, I have that on display for like a year or two, and then I have to put it in the back room, and it's just. But, sitting. Yeah. Yeah, sitting. And I just want it gone. So you said you're a Warcraft fan. Yes. So if you want, you can have it. So out of those hundreds of games we took in there, he literally took like six he took six or seven of the games so uh we ended up getting four and probably the best one we paid eight dollars in trade for this so we ended up getting this for eight dollars over on amazon it's selling for right around 30 to 5 to 40 so that was a really good price there we ended up getting around 60 dollars in trade in for a little small stack like that that's actually really really good second one harry potter this is another 40 dollar game um selling or trade in value we've got about 20 so we'll get about 10 after fees in value out of that but it's all trade in so it's essentially free money uh dark cloud i haven't looked this up recently but it's fully complete and i sold one without the manual for 55 dollars recently so i'm assuming this will be around 60 to 65 i might be a little off about that i'll put a comp over here for what it actually is worth once again it's all trade in value and last one Joseph found. You want to talk about this one, Joseph? All right, so this one, uh, it was Dynasty Warrior Gunman. Um, Gundam. 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 Um, I paid $15 for it. I look it up on eBay. Prices were all over the place, between 39 29 somewhere around there. So I haven't really decided where I'm going to play with it. Uh, it just depends on what else comes up. So. Is it complete? It's complete, yes. It's complete, complete. Yeah, it was complete with the book and everything. There were several $40 comps on it, though. Yeah, yeah. So, so I would say probably around there, 35 ish mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. Very cool. So we still have all this trade-in left, guys. We're going to go over to Video Game. What was that called? Video Trader? Video Trader. Yeah. So we're going to go over to Video Trader now and try to get rid of the rest of this stuff. If you guys... I'm stoked about that. Uh, did you get that on camera? The yeah, display? when he gave you the display. Oh, the yeah. display. It's super freaking cool. I would have never expected that. At the uh, There was a stop earlier this week that I stopped at and looked at a statue or a figure, and it was like $290. And I was yeah, like, there's no way I'm paying that for something just to sell on the shelf. This guy gave that to me completely for free. So shout out to uh, Video Game Galaxy. That's our first stop here in Newark, Ohio today. So we're going to go over to Video Trader and try to get something Get some there. more, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Place, baby. Let's there go. We, there we go. Too much. Too much. Too much. Here's some junk. Get some junk out of my trunk. <laughs> 
Alright, so we had an amazing haul in there guys. We ended up getting $58 and some change in trade-in. We got one $15 item off completely and a $2 item off. It was buy five, get the six free, and we're going to take you through what we got right now. We got a Pokemon Emerald official guide for $40. This sells for about $65 to $70 on eBay, but I think it'll continue to rise as Pokemon's a huge brand. $5 for Pokemon White version 2 and Black version 2 preview guide. Uh, didn't really get too great of comps from this, but once again, for five bucks and it's got Pokemon branded on it and it's a preview guide, I think this is destined to go up in price. We also have right here Mega Man uh, Zero, goes for about 30 on Amazon. Bought it for 15, goes for about 33 after fees on Amazon. So that was a good pickup there, a good double up. Rayman Raving rabbits yeah something like that eight dollars uh i think we looked at that about 20 In right 25 yeah yeah, tw yeah it would be about 20 after fees over on ebay 30 dollars for this game uh should net us about six seven dollars after fees and shipping that's an easy $10 game. I've sold multiple of these. Some of them you'll see on eBay sell for eight to seven, but there's a quite a few that sell for 10 to 11 as well. And for 99 cents, it was a great pickup. I would suggest if you find games like this though, make sure they got the manuals and stuff in it. Where's that this? Uh-oh. We better make sure that they- Whoa! <laughs> they don't have any of them in there? You said he was gonna get that Oh answer. no, they have no games. <laughs> they Luckily, they haven't left yet. Oh no, they sold us no games. Joseph, they sold us no games. We just paid $200 for no games. Well, we got games. <laughs> I can't believe that we walked out of there with, I mean, that's probably easily $100 plus in games yeah. that we bought. <laughs> we didn't even check it. So Nintendo Land, if it's got its manual, it's a $10 game all day long, paid 99 cents. About $30 over on Amazon, paid $15, looking at around $10 after fees. We'll try to do this quick because it's getting dark. Uh, we said $25 roughly on this over on Amazon, and we paid $8, so probably another double up on that after fees. Over on eBay, sells for $30 in complete condition, in which it is, and it's actually really nice. Um, paid $15, probably looking at around $10 after fees. Well, about $7 or $8 after fees and shipping. Uh, same thing, close to a double up on this over on Amazon. This was really surprising, and it's kind of like a little, it's about $40, I think. There's a $40 comp on this. It's My mind's, my brain is so scattered right now because I've looked at so many video games today. But I'm pretty sure this goes for around 40 If it doesn't, it goes for around 30 to 35 And even at that price, you're good at paying that. Obviously, a duplicate of the other game we talked about, it's actually $3 cheaper. And then, last but not least, this was like close to a $35 game over on eBay, and we paid $17, so close, uh, about 70%, 60% uh, money back on that, or money gained on that. And for the big deal of the day, over on Phoenix Resales Discord, these ones not so much, about 15 for the wireless ones, but let me try to find the good ones here. So if it says Xbox One right here on these, Guys, these are about fifty to sixty dollars before fees and shipping over on eBay, and we paid ninety-nine cents. And we didn't just get one of them, but we have multiple. multiple. Yeah, there's two. That's not one. These ones as well sell for a little cheaper, around thirty-five to forty, but still paid a whole grand total of ninety-nine cents for that one. Ninety-nine cents for that one. Um, what else do we have? In here? We got another one in here somewhere, don't we? Just two of those? Yeah. But either way, $3 into probably 120 in just those. So that was a tremendous score. These wireless ones sell for 15 to 20 over on eBay. I've sold a couple. They're slow. But once again, for 99 cents, you just can't beat it. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a gamble on this, but it was brand new sealed. And uh, we've seen some of them over on Amazon going for right around 35 So we took the risk on the Disney Infinity Pad. As you guys should all know by now, uh, PS4 cameras are spiked. This should be about $65 to $70 over on even eBay, and 
and like 125 on Amazon. I haven't figured out if I can sell that on Amazon yet or not, but we paid only $40 for that. Also, Connect sensor bars, you, you should know about these as well. They're $50 to $60 all day long, paid $20, easy money in those as well. And somebody must have screwed up because they were marking these up for a little while, but these are Move Navigation Controllers for PS3, and this is a brand new Sony sealed one. This should probably be at least 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we paid $2 for it, and then obviously used one sells for, I've sold multiple of these for right around 24 to 25 ish dollars and we paid also two dollars for that so great deal there and what is this we're taking some gambles on a couple more of these to see how they'll move and what they'll do but like i said the, all these portals guys were 99 cents like ridiculous ridiculous pricing <sighs> what are they man <laughs> it's been a day it's been a we long started day. at eight o'clock this morning it is now nine o'clock and we're I, i'm about an hour and 40 from joseph's house and we're, I'm probably an easily two hours away from getting home for myself. So it has been a very long day. Uh, these days kind of tire you out. Like I it said, does. I was getting a little, uh, little fluster brain trying to give you guys prices there at the end, just because that this is what goes into to everyday reselling and trying to do it full time. Everybody makes it seem like it's really easy, but we probably scanned. Over 400 games, games yeah. today or something and you know this was our greatest stop but uh, sometimes all it takes is one really good stop probably should have came here and never went to the other place to begin with yeah. but you don't know that unless you try and we did get 60 we so we totaled out to a uh, hundred and like fifteen dollars in trade in value and still a box full of games back there that hopefully we can move from somewhere else or maybe sell in a garage sale at a yeah, later just, day just skip you know just keep doing it and until we get out of yeah get out get of, get rid of them yeah. yep yep absolutely so thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far maybe think about hitting the subscribe button as well as the like button that would help out a ton to the channel and as always encourage others develop yourself and we'll see you guys in the, in next. the next one peace